Land 400 Phase 3, Australian Army's Infantry Fighting Vehicle Project. The two contender vehicles for Australia's soon-to-be-selected Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, Land 400 Phase 3 project, recently conducted a firepower demonstration at Puckapunyal Military Area, showcasing next-level protection, firepower and mobility. Both are candidates for Army's future infantry fighting vehicle, with defense looking to acquire up to 450 under Land 400 Phase 3. Valued at between $18.1 billion and $27.1 billion, the Land 400 Phase 3 project is the largest acquisition project in Army's history. Rainmetal Defense Australia's KF-41 Lynx and Hanwha Defense Australia's Redback have been facing off an extensive user evaluation field trials. Both companies have delivered three prototype vehicles, which are being tested over the course of this year as part of a two-year risk mitigation activity. A decision on the preferred tenderer will be presented to government for consideration in 2022. Land 400 Trials Platoon Commander Major Joel Sloan said the vehicles were being tested and evaluated in all weather and in varying terrain to ensure they were fit for purpose. Our trials have involved literally blowing the vehicles up in order to test how they can withstand a range of firepower and threats, Major Sloan said. We have been testing the Redback and Lynx through a range of tactical scenarios in the field that will be realistic to how they will be employed in the future. At the firepower demonstration, both vehicles fired their 30mm main weapon cannon and coaxial and remote weapon station 7.62mm MAG-58 machine guns, engaging targets at ranges from 300 meters to more than 2,000 meters. Capability Acquisition and Sustainment Group Head Armored Vehicle Division Major General David Coughlin said with its next-generation protection suite, 30mm cannon, anti-tank guided missiles, and the ability to engage helicopters and drones, either vehicle offered capabilities never before seen in Army. These vehicles will provide increased firepower, mobility and, most importantly, protection for our infantry soldiers, he said. We are rapidly approaching the end of the risk mitigation activity and submission of the shortlisted tenderer's final offers. We will then undertake a final evaluation to identify the preferred tenderer. The Live Fire Shoot showcases the extensive testing and evaluation process we are undertaking to provide confidence that these new vehicles are fit for service. Each vehicle has a crew of three and can carry six fully armed infantry soldiers into battle. The vehicles are designed to fight alongside the nation's current and future tank fleet with commensurate mobility. Major Sloan said that the best thing about the infantry fighting vehicle is it will allow the infantry corps to contribute more to joint land combat. The capabilities and systems on this new vehicle allows the infantry to fight with the vehicle, not just from the vehicle. It allows us to move further in the battle space, under armor, with full situational awareness. Individual vehicle craft, tactical maneuvers, advances and attacks on objectives are just some of the activities the project is putting these vehicles to the test in. Both companies, should they be successful, have committed to building the majority of vehicles in Australia, with substantial investment in Australian industry capability, supporting Australian jobs, talent and technology. An infantry fighting vehicle is designed to transport infantry soldiers onto objectives so they can fight. The closer we can get to an objective in protection, the safer they'll be and the better they'll be able to try to take their mission. We blow the vehicles up, we test ballistics, we test the turret, the engines, everything we need to know to make an informed decision uh, to recommend which vehicle to buy by the government. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.